Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another awesome video tutorial. So as you know, PrestaShop has been dreaded by a lot of spam issues recently. So in this video, we will see how to quickly block certain email addresses from sending images through the contact form, as well as banning words in the content. So let's get started. We only need to edit one file in this case, and it's contactcontroller.php. So instead, I will create an override for it. I'll reach my PrestaShop root folder and then override controllers front. You can see I had one already. I just uh, used it as a test. So I will go ahead and uh, copy and paste it. It's going to be contact controller. And now since we're going to do everything from scratch, I will just get rid of the content. So I'll open PHP tags and then class contact controller. This is just a standard override code. Extends contact controller core. Now we need to latch into the post process method. So let's extend it public function post process and I want to check that um, tools is submit <clears throat> submit message so I will only run this code if submit message is submitted now I want to save the uh, submitted message variable uh, to a variable first and then the email as well. So uh, message equals tools get value message and then from tools get value from. I'm using the um, same names as the parent just to keep things tidy and uniform. Now I want to create two new arrays. One will contain the list of strings to ban from emails and the other the ones from the content. So first off, band in email. And now this needs a little bit of an explanation. So uh, depending on the type of spam you're getting, you might want to change the content here. Like say, for instance, I'm getting a lot of um, Russian spam emails. So I want to ban the .ru domain. I'm also getting some qq.com spam emails. So I'm going to add that and .vn. Uh, I don't know what country this is, but I'm getting a lot of these uh, in terms of spam. So I want to ban these two. Now bear in mind if you do have customers, real customers that have .ru, .vn, which I find strange, but uh, addresses um, they used to register and contact you with, you do not want to do this because this will prevent um, writing you anything if the email used uh, they use contains this uh, any of these strings. So just bear that in mind. It's a bit of a, a subjective setting, so you will have to check what kind of spam you get and act accordingly. Same for the content. So band content, email marketing, for example. So any content that's sent over containing email marketing, it's going to be blocked. So you want to take this into account. This is just an example. You, you should make sure of what you ban based on the spam you do get. So I want to loop through both and spawn an error in case anything is contained in the submitted variables. So for each band in email as string, so if string string from string, so if string is contained into the email address, I will add an error. So this errors, and it's an array, so I'll add to it, tools display error. It's going to be something like uh, this email 
address is not allowed. Allowed. Now for the other, I will just copy and paste it. So if for each band content as a string in this case, if in this case, if string uh, if the string is contained in the message, then I'll display something else like uh, invalid content, and that's basically it. So I just need to call the the parent method at the very end. So at the end of post process, I will call parent post process. And we are basically done. Now I created a new override, so let me clear the class index. So I'll go back to my root folder. I'm using uh, PrestaShop 1.6.1.17 in this case, but it should work in any of uh, the 1.6 versions, I believe in 1.5 as well. So I'll go to um, cache and erase class index no worries as always this is going to be regenerated so now it's time to test this let's see if i made any mistake and uh, yeah is is i submit so that's uh wrong so if is submit okay let's see if it works so i'll use dot ru test Yep, so this email address is not allowed. Let me choose a subject just in case. Test it. Right, so I need to change the content first. So let me actually go back and rewrite some stuff here. I'm gonna try again, just in case, test extensively in this case. So the email address is not allowed. Let's fix it and then try with email marketing. Now the content is not allowed. Write something else. And this works. So we're done. This is everything for today's video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for other great PrestaShop tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.